Impact has been at the core of ProPublica's mission since we launched in 2008, and it remains the primary way we measure success today. Yeah, our investigative journalism does more than expose wrongdoing and injustice. From the resignation of corrupt officials to the creation of new laws, we intend for it to spark real-world change. Here are some of the ways that ProPublica has made an impact this year. In a series of articles last year called the Repatriation Project, ProPublica reported on how hundreds of institutions still hold the remains of over 97,000 Native Americans, along with the tens of thousands of belongings buried with them. Almost from the first day the story was published, museum after museum apologized and announced they would speed up repatriation efforts and allocate more money to it. More than 70 news orgs have used our data and guidance to report on repatriation track records of institutions in their communities. And in part because of our work, American museums and universities in 2023 repatriated more ancestral remains to tribal nations than any year in three decades, transferring ownership of an estimated 18,800 Native American ancestors. The IRS has launched a campaign that will focus on owners of sports teams that are reporting significant tax losses to determine if the income and deductions driving the losses are lawful. The announcement did not specify what kinds of abuses the agency will be looking for. When someone buys a business, they're often able to deduct almost the entire sale price against their income for years. In few industries, is that tax treatment more detached from economic reality than in professional sports? But owners of sports franchises routinely avail themselves of such deductions, which can be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The initiative comes after ProPublica, drawing on leaked IRS data, reveals how billionaire team owners frequently report incomes for their teams that are way lower than their real-world earnings. Philips Respironics received thousands of complaints about a dangerous defect in its breathing machines, but kept them a secret for years as their stock prices soared. The devices, including the popular dream station for sleep apnea, went to children, the elderly, and veterans before the global giant announced a massive recall. Since ProPublica's reporting, lawmakers have called for criminal probes, and the Government Accountability Office is launching an inquiry of the FDA's oversight of medical device recalls for the first time in years. The company has agreed to stop selling all sleep apnea devices in the United States under an agreement with the Justice Department, and has agreed to pay $1 billion to settle civil claims over its tainted breathing machines. Under the terms of the settlement, Phillips did not admit fault or liability. In the company's first quarter financial report, their CEO said the settlement provides the company with a clear path forward for sustainable value creation. The Department of Education hit Liberty University with a record $14 million fine for failing to handle complaints of sexual assault and other campus safety issues at the Christian University. The DOE's report concluded that sexual assault victims were punished for violating the student code of conduct while their assailants were left unpunished. Liberty University said in a statement that it faced unfair treatment, but the university admitted to mistakes and committed to spending $2 million on campus safety. Black landowners are disproportionately vulnerable to laws and discriminatory practices that allow investors and developers to acquire their property. More than a third of Black-owned land in the South is heirs' property, which is land that has been passed down informally within families. The practice began during Reconstruction, when many African Americans didn't have access to the legal system. After reading a ProPublica New Yorker investigation on the issue, federal lawmakers introduced a legislative package that would expand heirs' property owners' access to disaster relief and provide more assistance in clearing titles. Head to the link in our bio to find out more about how ProPublica's reporting has sparked real-world change. And as always, thank you for reading.